If you are in my talk class, you know that I will look at the dollar index in every of my session. And the reason why I take a look at dollar index, not because I'm trading in the forex, I'm trading in the stocks as well. And dollar index has a very strong correlation as of now to the stock market. Now, whenever the dollar index is near the low, that's where the stocks is going to be at a high. Okay, so it has this inverse relationship. Now, why is that so? When the dollar index is near the low, that means the dollar index has a chance to gain further. Now, when it moves up, it also suggests that the market is thinking that, hey, look, Fed is going to hide rate because then if it's going to hide rate, they're going to buy the dollar. And that's where inflation fear comes in. And it's always in this cycle recently. Dollar up. Fed is going to hide rate and then because that's an inflation issue. Now, right now, the dollar index is parked at a place that I was waiting for, for it to get resisted. And as of a few days ago, it's there and we are going to take a look at the dollar index right now. Before this, remember to smash the subscribe button and remember to scan this QR code so that you get regular update as soon as I launch them. First thing, just repeating. But if you take a look into this bar here, this long bar, this was a clear breakout bar. And I told my students that there is no way for the dollar index to move down because this breakout is too obvious. Right? Anything that's to me that's too obvious will not happen in the market. Instead, that I was trading where the dollar index should be heading up. And where was the resistance level that I was waiting for? And this is exactly that I mark in my lesson, this downward stopping trend line and the horizontal level. I was telling them that no matter what dollar index has to go up to this level here, and it has to test this trend line and has to test the resistance because by stopping at too obvious level, it will not happen, right? It will not, the market will not do things which are obvious, which are in the textbook. This is what the market is doing right now. So even during the CPI, this was that CPI period. And then recently it had tested this level again. And during that CPI, the dollar index never it never closed below the support level that I marked in here. Right. In fact, that it's right now heading towards this resistance. And what are we waiting for? I'm actually waiting for a wash and rinse. If you have been to my wash and rinse lesson, that means that I talk about wash and rinse. And, and, and you should be doing that because right now there's a promotion going on. It is having a $1,200 cashback, which means that your cost fee is fully given back to you as a form of cash back. That means that you don't even need to pay a single cent for the, for the, for the cost fee. All right, I'm so excited because then it's, it gets okay. Anyway, so let's take a look at right now what is happening. Price had closed above the previous high. So this is the, the point where I'd be marking in one and zero. Now it means that uh, there was some people who bought during the breakout. Okay, so this was obviously a zone of resistance and then somewhere around here, people bought in here as a breakout. All right, and then right now it hits right into the resistance here. Now, if price can continue to move up and that would be still retaining the bullishness in dollar index. Now, what happened if price doesn't continue to move up. That means that if price is to break below this wash line that I've drawn in here, now this means that whoever who bought in here would be washed and rinsed. Okay, so that's a very important thing to take note of. Okay, wash and rinse, right? And the wash and rinse activity, which is for price to close below the wash line, so this activity will firm up that this place, which I've identified, is a very strong resistance. Now, in this case here, many things will happen. Like, for example, you can take this piece of information to trade in the dollar pairs. Uh, since you know that dollar index is probably going to go weak, and then you might want to choose to long uh, some of the dollar pairs, like euro or pound dollar. And if you are thinking the dollar index should be weak, then you want to take a look back into the indexes and probably to see whether the indexes is near to some form of a support. I hope that this information on dollar index is useful to you. And if you want to get timely update, remember, hit that subscribe button and I see you in my next video.